your art assignment, you're gonna draw three views of the same thing. You're just gonna pick an object around your house. Could like, um, I worked with my water bottle last week with uh, second and third grade, so maybe you wanna do a water bottle, that's nice and simple. Maybe a stuffed animal, maybe a really favorite hot chocolate mug, but basically you're gonna pick one item one object and you're one subject and you're going to draw that same thing in three different views. I chose a paint, a one gallon paint pump jug and I'm excited about these. I just love all the stuff that's going on here and I'm gonna look at this in three different ways. Okay, so you will have um, a lot of options for how you're going to um, complete your assignment this week. And I want everyone to pick something that they really feel comfortable doing or maybe want to explore something new. So you're going to create um, three views of one object, like I just said, and you can either draw paper pencil drawing, nothing wrong with that, we'll talk about this, or maybe you have an iPad or something at home, some sort of tablet, and you wanna do maybe a digital drawing, which actually is very similar to a pencil drawing, but maybe you just wanna use technology this way, and or maybe you just wanna take photographs. Now, I'm using my phone right now to record this, so I can't show you my phone, but if you have a phone or you wanna borrow a parent's phone or maybe use an iPad, those have great cameras too, um, you can take three photographs of the three different views of your object. So those are three object, three assignment choices for you this week. Hey, okay. So if you're going to draw your three views of your item that you selected, um, which I actually recommend because it's a really great artist exercise. It's almost like going to basketball practice, you know, before you play the game, you go to a lot of practices. I'd recommend just drawing by hand, paper, pencil, and see where it takes you. But like I said, there are other options. Okay, so I just, a piece of scrap paper, just stuff I found in the scrap paper bin. I just wrote three views. I felt like writing it fancy. And then I just drew a box and a box and a box. Now I've already done this view and I've already done a kind of a close up. And what I have on the screen for you right here, you can see that I have the um, a view looking down on top of the paint jug. Um, and now I'm gonna draw that. And I wanted to talk you through what I was drawing so you could hear what I was thinking while I was drawing. Um, like if I try to draw, I've probably said this before, if I try to draw the paint jug, that's a really hard, like really, really hard, there's too many parts. But if I just break it down, easy peasy. Do you see a circle? I see a circle. I can draw a circle. You could draw a circle. So let's just start there. So I see um, a circle and there's a little area around it. And then I see kind of a biggish circle around that circle. And look, I'm drawing that circle. I'm out, I'm over, going over that circle a number of times. That's what, just so I can see if I like it. And I do. Now I've got um, a line that's off of the circle and it's, pretty much hugs the circle, comes down, goes off the page. I love it when stuff goes off the page. Got another one here, sort of goes down a little bit, but then sort of curves back up and starts to meet. Um, then I see a kind of another outline around that. It's kind of a similar line that follows the shape. I see that same line right here. Ooh, here I see the corner kind of goes off in that direction and then kind of follows it and bumps up a little bit. And then I can start to see the bottom of the cap right there. And I can start to see the handle over here. I think that's what that is. And then I can sort of see around the jug. And I see that top. Cool. Guys, yay, I did it. That's it. That's just practice. I'm just practicing my drawing skills. This does not have to look like a paint jug. I'm just practicing. And I was trying really hard to draw what I saw. Maybe I want to then go back and include some shading. Or maybe like, oh, I see like a little paint spot right here. That'd be fun to draw. Or like little paint spots here. I could use the side of my pencil to maybe do some shading where the jug is in sort of a shadow area. That could be something that's interesting. It sort of would highlight all the other parts I was working on. All right, cool. I could get lost in this forever, so I'm gonna stop right there. Um, um, I, I if you're gonna draw it with paper pencil, fun thing to do, um, draw three views and look for shapes and lines. Don't try to draw the thing that's too hard, but like a shape here, a line there, a little bit of a curve, a little bit of triangle, a little bit of a dark area. Those are things you should be looking for when you're drawing from real life. Okay guys, you can also do a digital drawing of your object. Here is a time-lapse video of a drawing I did on my iPad and it's three views of my object and same with the paper pencil drawing. I just looked for lines and shapes and I was all set. Okay, the last option for you is if you'd like to, you can use a smartphone and you can take three photographs of your object from three different angles. You'll notice that I have a top view, a side view, and a close-up view, and those might be some things that you want to experiment with. Okay, cool. So I am looking forward to seeing your three views of your object. And I'm also looking forward to seeing which way you wanted to do it. Did you photograph? Did you draw? Or did you digitally draw? All right. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.